Are you? Yeah, yeah. I cry at weird shit, um, like sad movies. I'm, I cried at Logan. I, I like to you cry. Cried at Logan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like to cry at movies. It makes me feel like connected to things. <clears throat> like, you know, like uh, Jungle Fever. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, Frank Vincent, I just wanted to hug him. I get it. No, but I like to, it, it, it makes me feel like I'm not, I'm not disconnected from human interactions. or, or Do or, you feel sometimes like you are? Just, yeah, a little bit, but not, not to a point where I think I'm unique, but just sometimes a little bit, like it's always one tick off. Like I would argue with a woman in a relationship and I could say barbaric things because I felt like I was arguing through a window. Like it was not real life, it was a movie. Like it was a movie performance. But then I watch, you know, a Sanka commercial. Oh, you hugged the puppy and I'm crying. And it was like, <laughs> this, it was like one click off from where you should be. Wow. And, and I, I, I can remember, Bill Burr, I've been thinking of a lot, because Bill, Bill told me that he doesn't call names. Like he won't call his wife a bitch. He just doesn't do it because he saw that growing up. And he, he like, as, as angry as Bill can be, he doesn't name call. Mm. And I've been thinking about that a lot. I'm like, I've done that with every person I dated. And it's so fucked up. Name and calls? Yeah. yeah, it just it happens. They'll say, shut up. You're, and I'll be like, you fucking... But I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore. It just kind of made me feel like, yeah, it's shitty. Yeah, it's shitty. It is shitty. And it's too easy to do. It's especially, there's a real issue when you do it because you know the person's going to take it. You know what I mean? Like, it's one thing if you're like, look, you're a cunt and this is done. I'm, yeah. I can't do this anymore. You fucking, you lit my house on fire. You fucked my brother. It's over. Absolutely. After I jerk off to the memories, yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but there's one thing if you say something to someone knowing that you're going to make up, like knowing that you can get away with it. You know, and I think a lot of people do that in relationships. They get real mean and nasty to each other because they know the person's trapped, especially if you're married and you have kids. Right, right, right. That can get real squirrely. I've seen, I've seen... I've seen that happen with people, and you're like, ooh, man, you got to not do that to each other. It makes me not want to get married, because I talk to so many guys who don't get their dick sucked anymore, mm. and they, or they don't get this or that. I'm like, I'm not that it's got to be a fuck fest. If you're married, I get it. You have a kid, things die off. But I, that, that's my fear, is I, I marry somebody. It's a real I, fear. Yeah, all these things, all of a sudden, and I know I'm going to cheat. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to be good. Well, it's uh, the, 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 the idea of marriage, and this is coming from a happily married guy. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. And this is why. Because it's a contract. You're, you're, people change on a day-to-day -day basis. They change throughout the day. They change based on the song they hear. They change based on the conversation they have with their girlfriend. Right. They change based on a book they read. People fucking change. And you're, you're in this constant stage of growing and developing. And when you commit to someone, like you say, like, this is my girlfriend. This is my husband. This is my wife. This is my, this is my companion. When you do that... There's one thing to do it and to really be all in and really enjoy that person's company and want to be with them a lot. It's another thing to involve the government. Yeah. And to get legal paperwork signed and all that kind of crazy. I was willing to do it simply because, well, first of all, because my wife's awesome and I love her and she's a great person, but also because I have children. And I was like, well, that, having children is a way bigger commitment than anything else that's right. legal. Because now there's a human life that depends on you. And all my phobias about government interaction and laws and legal paperwork. And this is coming from a guy who has several close friends whose lives have been fucking ruined by divorce. Ruined. Yeah. Where they've had to pay exorbitant amounts of money. It wrecks their life. It causes them stress. They've aged 10 years in a year. I've yeah. seen guys like that. I've seen a bunch of guys like that who've been devastated by divorce. And then, then devastated by the fucking wife hiring the most evil, vicious lawyers to attack them yeah. and go after them and try to get squeeze as much money out as possible yeah. and drag it into the dirt especially when a man and woman are married and the man makes all the money the man has to pay for the woman's lawyer and that's where things get fucking spectacularly it's ridiculous. ridiculous yeah because then she's, there's no cost to her to do anything she can file a motion after motion knowing this dummy is paying for it yeah. not only that she's draining the money she's, she's, draining, dra the money. she's draining his money and I had a very good friend of mine deal with this he went through it was more than a year and a half of, of deliberate where he lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees and the whole time his wife was doing it on purpose she, They would come to an agreement and then she would change the agreement. She would be like, I don't give a fuck I want more and he would be like, but we had an agreement. She's like fuck you Fuck you pay me and yeah. then she would hang up the phone and then the lawyer would contact these are the new stipulations And he would get ready to agree to those and then she would drag that out for a couple months and Then ramp it up again and she was being completely unreasonable and in but a way she's she doing still it on the relationship, too That's a weird relationship even when it's a, f a hateful relationship. It's still some kind of a connection. Yeah, it's crazy what people do crazy. in divorce. It's I have to. I have to. I'm gonna piss my pants. Go, I, go, I'll piss, be right back. go piss. You know Jesus me. I can never make it through a whole podcast. Don't worry about, about it, buddy. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you did. Well, I was getting too ramped up about divorce talk.
He's crazy to think he's going to get married. When, when you exactly. talk to someone who's a, and I say this with all due respect, a hardcore pervert like Jim Norton, the idea that he's going to settle down. But you know what it is, man? When you don't have it, it seems so attractive to you. You know? Like if, if, if you're a guy who's got a regular nine to five job, you get up in the morning, you get your newspaper, you let the dog out, you say hi to your kids, you eat your breakfast, you drink your coffee, you go to work the same way every day. And then you hear about Ari Shafir disappearing and throwing his phone into the garbage and just traveling to the middle of the God knows where the fuck he is. We think he's in Vietnam. That's what we've heard. But he could have left Vietnam Tuesday and gone to fucking Malaysia now. You know, who knows where he is? He might be in Bali. He might, he might be doing some fucking psychedelic ritual with some monks on the top of a temple right now He's who knows gone for like three months now yeah, right yeah that's insane it's great it's awesome but i don't want to do it i mean but to someone who looks at life like if i was miserable and i looked at his life I'd be like god damn that's what i want to do mm. that's what i want to do so i think when people just aren't completely comfortable with their life jim's problem one of jim's problems is he's very smart and when he's thinking, he's constantly thinking. So he's constantly obsessing about things. So you see him like going over all these variables. And that's one of the reasons why, why he'll cry at movies. It's also one of the reasons why, you know, like he'll, he'll go over all various aspects of himself.